if you have an investment earning compound interest, then there's a nice equation that goes along with that. Um, it's not very hard to see where the equation comes from. And it's a nice concise equation. It's the amount equals the amount that you initially invested. That's P here in the equation times one plus the rate. The rate's written as a decimal raised to the power of T, the, the number of years. So after zero years, of course, you should just have still $1,000. That's the initial investment here. Um, if you wait for one year, then you should be plugging in T equals one. The rate is 0 0.05 for 5%. And um, so you just add one plus 0 0.05. And then when you raise that to the first power, you don't change it at all. A thousand times 1.05 is just going to move the decimal three places to the right. And then after two years, you've got the same equation, same formula, but you're plugging in t equals two. So that 1.05 that you get when you add one plus the rate, we'll have to square that. Um, and so if you're doing it by hand, you just multiply 1.05 times itself. It may have been a while since you've done that. So I'm doing it here off to the side. You set it up with the decimals there, and then you multiply it out, kind of like you're multiplying 105 times 105. But then at the end, you're going to move the decimal four places to the left. Um, I made a mistake here. When I did 5 times 5, I got 25. But I forgot to, when I added 2 plus 0 plus 0, I said that was 0. So this answer should say 1.1025. Then you multiply that by a thousand. That moves the decimal three places back over to the right. So you should get $1,102.50.